Now, Juan Thornhill. So yesterday we talked on the show about the fact that Juan Thornhill was complaining about there's a lot of negativity. He doesn't like it. Nothing that happened before last year doesn't matter. We responded and talked about how, hey, you know, it does matter. It matters to us. It matters to people like G who've been having to deal with crappy football for 30 years and fans that have been watching this team suck forever. We get it that Juan Thornhill wants to come in here and wants to, and we hope he does it. But until that happens, you can't blame some people from being a little skeptical. Yeah. And you guys posted a video of me, my comments on this, and Juan Thornhill retweeted it, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, today, I put out a, cause a couple of people were, like, complaining about my comments. And so I, you know, they were like, you know, who can you know, they're going to be good and this and that or whatever. So I said, um, I responded, uh, you know, at this guy, Alex, on Twitter said, this, uh, funny how the original tweet did, blah, blah. he's trying to change the narrative around here. My response to that was, a player talking doesn't change shit. You want to change the narrative? Win some effing games. Is that fair? Like, a player can come in here. Lo again, I love Juan Thornhill's attitude. It's all good. And I told him that because I did respond. He responded to me and I responded we're to get, him. We're getting there. So, but like, ultimately, all the talking in the world is meaningless. If you don't win, it doesn't matter. So, if they win, that's going to change the narrative about the Browns. And not just get to the playoffs, but once you, like, the Bengals, when they made the, the even the Super Bowl, Last year, there were a lot of people thought the Bengals would go backwards because they didn't have any track record of consistent success. Mm -hmm. Winning one year is one thing. Consistent success, that's another thing. Yes. That's a good, that's, you've got to be a, a decent franchise to consistently win. So that's what the Browns got to do. And that's the only way you really change the narrative. Right. Right. So I, that, so I thought my state was fair. So Juan Thornhill responded to what I said, which I love. Do we well, have the tweet, Anthony? I and this tweet. is what Juan Thornhill said in response to my tweet. He said, I'll keep my comment to myself, thumbs up emoji, but we hear you. Now, I, 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 don't, I don't know what his comment was going to be. It doesn't sound like he's being, he don't sound pissed off to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm misreading it. He pissed off? I can't tell if that's passive aggressive or not. No, but. he said, I ain't going to say what I'm going to say, but, you know, say thumbs up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not going, I'm not going to be Twitter thumbing. Yeah. I'm not going to be Twitter thumbing. We hear what you're saying. Yeah. All right. So, so I responded. All right, I wrote this to Juan Thornhill. This is what I tweeted. I don't know if you have my tweet. You have it or no? Uh, I can go grab it real quick, but if you want to read it. All right, so this is what I said. Hey, Juan, I love your passion and energy. Glad you wanted to turn. Glad you want to turn it around here. I believe you guys, the Browns, have a chance to be really good. But you can't expect people that have been watching crappy football for so many years to not want a team to prove it on the field before you get total buy-in. That's what I said there. Yeah. I went on to say, if, uh, you know, it's a long tweet. My second paragraph there was... He pays for Twitter blue, so he can tweet that long. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, I said, that being said, love the interaction here, and you have an open invite to the ultimate Cleveland sports show to try to shut up the doubters. Most fun show in Cleveland. Fact. So, we listen, Juan Thornhill, you want to come in? You want to yell at me? You want to tell me I'm an idiot? Whatever you want to do. Open invitation. I'm rooting for you. I want you to have great success. But the talking don't matter. All that matters is winning on the field. But open invitation to Juan Thornhill. We'd love him to come in studio on uh, on the, whatever. He's got to be at his house, whatever he wants to do. Change the, If he wants to change the narrative with talking, which you can't really do, but he wants to do it here, go for it. And, well, has and there been we'll further response? Cue that clip. We'll tweet it out on him. Make sure it's it's out there. So uh, take a note. It was 12, 25, 26-ish. And, and since we, we talk, and so This is a lame response. Sorry, G, but this guy, some random dude on Twitter is like, Maybe from his perspective, he wonders why Cleveland fans don't seem to appreciate they still have a team. That's the most absurd, idiotic response. What, people are supposed to kiss the Browns' ass and the Browns' players' asses just because they have a team? Yeah, of course I, they have a team. I don't like this that. This city supports a team. They go to games. They buy the stupid jerseys. They do all this stuff despite the fact the team has been unworthy and unwatchable for most of the last three decades. And, and, and furthermore, here's what we're going to do. Because I don't really be in, involved in it. I'm just looking around. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, what we're not going to do is we're not going to take time to jump on, on these, these lines and jump on people's timelines. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, Sarge BKM at G Bush is Boo your boss. 
Are you his water boy? He baits you every day and you kowtow every oh, time. Ridiculous. I know it, it won't matter, but I am so done with you. <laughs> I hope others follow uh, others follow me. It's about platform um, and uh, I don't know what that said. My brother. Well, let me tell you, my brother, you can't gas like G Bush. He, here's the thing, bro. <laughs> Just because you black and I'm black don't mean we come from the same area. And, and, and as uh, one uh, Stephen A. Smith said, listen, I disagree with everybody and I disagree when it count. I don't see y'all calling out Roger Goodell in the NFL. I don't see y'all calling out. Listen, I done had arguments with people that really can get you up out of here. How many times you didn't had them conversations. So when I say something, I stand on the 10 toes from nothing. I came from nothing. I came from sleeping on couches telling people what I think at the end of the day bull stand on his word. Jay stand on his word. McNuggets stand on ain't nobody up in the UCSS. We have conversations. Ain't nobody. Everybody in here is they got their own opinion. No, if it, it's from the from the directors to the producers, we have conversations. Ain't nobody over no nobody. And yeah. what y'all got to understand here in sports is sometimes somebody gonna have an opinion about something. That's that man's opinion. If you got a problem with that man's opinion, go talk to him. Or maybe you should have a conversation with him and, 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 and verbally joust and do some things. At the end of the day, our job here is to tell you what we think and to give you the, the, the tone of certain things. Juan Thorhill, shout out to you, my brother. We like the energy you bring in from the Kansas City Chiefs. You know why? Because you guys winning championships over there. We want that same energy over here. But sometimes you got to realize that, that, that you might be used to filet mignon and we've been dealing with hamburger helper. So yeah. it's two different levels to it, yeah. McNugget. So like you, you can't come with, with that energy and expect everybody to be on. But like Bull said, if y'all come win games, you ain't no disrespect to Kansas City. You never gonna have a better fan base than you got right here. That's right. Ask LeBron James. He broke the scoring record in LA. If he tell you to a man, he wish he probably broke that scoring record here because we gonna support you. We gonna ride with you. It's a feeling you get when you ride through the Muni lot. Ain't no Muni lot in Kansas City. <laughs> ain't no Muni lot. Ain't nobody. You ain't gonna see one in 15, over 16, and you still got thousands of people supporting you like that. No disrespect to no other fan base is the best fan base in the world because they're going to come, come mess with you and they're going to genuinely show you love no matter if you win or lose. And that's why I advocate so hard for them because they deserve better. They deserve more. So if it's between the players or the, or the guys at the end of the day, the Browns uniforms is going to last forever. That that's going to be here. So I, I represent the brand. I'm going to be gone. One day you'll be gone. One day McNuggets will be gone and they'll still be talking about the Browns in the Muni lot. So at the end of the day, that's what I support. And if you get on the bandwagon, I'm sure they'll support you too. Two points. One to your point about do we ever think it, we're going to do a segment in a second on some Jared Allen trades and I'm going to show you what oh, wait, Anthony so said. Yet, no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm not done. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm going to show you what Anthony said. I'm going to show you what Earl said. I'm going to show you what G sent in. They could not be more wrong. Yeah, for like, all. like I'm just <laughs> telling you. I'm just telling you all right idea. now. Like, but guess what? This yeah. is a platform where if you want to present an idea and back it up, and I see Earl laughing, he's gonna yeah. try telling me they need Kevin Porter Jr. and I'm gonna try telling him get the hell out of here. But that is why this platform works. To your point on Juan Thornhill and to yeah. what G just said, sometimes two people could be right at the same time, even if they're coming at it from different perspectives. Juan Thornhill can say, "I don't like the negativity," and that's cool. And we. I honestly don't. Or as you I'm guys on this say, show, there's not a lot of negativity right no, now. No, no, no. And, anyway, and, but, and Browns fans, and yeah, I'll, I'll use G as the diehard, you know, yeah. born and raised in Cleveland Browns fan, can say, I've spent 41 years of my life watching pretty crappy football, so <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to jump on. Now, he's a Duke and Egypt. And sometimes I'm a Duke and he, Sometimes he yeah. does jump the gun, but it's fair for him to say, I'm not ready to fully buy until I see this team win. So I think in this instance, and I hope, Juan, come on in, dude. Like, I know my sister lived in Charlottesville for a few years. You went to University of Virginia. We'll talk about the Citizen Burger, best burger in Virginia, by the way. Come on in. We'll pull up a chair whenever you want. You're not the first pitch of the Guardians game next week. Maybe you should come in before then. Love to have you in. But I think Juan has a point, and I think what you said is totally valid. I think both are absolutely right at the same time, even though you may be coming at it from different perspectives. And let me just say something so to this Sarge character, and, and he's a veteran, so I, I give him major props for that. And because I wasn't gutsy enough to go in the military and I appreciate that he watches the show and you say you're not going to watch because you're annoyed at me or whatever. You're going to still watch because if you weren't going to watch, you wouldn't you wouldn't tweet at the show. But I got to say that your comments are way out of line. Uh, your comments to G are, are, I think, embarrassing. You should be ashamed of yourself for those comments 
because nobody's anybody's boss here. Even the actual bosses are not real bosses. Steve Becker's the executive producer of the show. We bust his balls all the time. Nobody's <laughs> bossing anybody around here. Okay. We and and by the way, G and I have had plenty of debates and arguments about <laughs> about sports. God. But we got love for each other and we're friends. And and that's all that matters. And and uh, this idea that he wouldn't argue with me because. Uh, he's got to carry my water, whatever stupid thing you said, is the most idiotic thing. First of all, if anybody didn't argue with me on this show because they were afraid or whatever, which I know is absurd, <laughs> I'd be pissed about it. If you disagree, we want argument. Yeah. We love having arguments here. So, But there is no argument. Deshaun Watson played poorly last year. I don't know what this guy wants. That's when the whole thing started with this guy. Because he was mad that I said, he says, I you said Deshaun Watson was bad with no proof. The whole thing. His all six games was proved. <laughs> what are you talking about? We started the whole show. Speaking of just random arguments, hey, yeah. the picture you sent us of Aaron this morning. Yeah. What was he wearing? He was, that's right. It's 10th birthday. Right rocking the, the barbershop. Barber yeah, so is. if you needed any proof that there's no bad blood between these two. <laughs> well, no, this no, guy wants he to wants bad blood. He, he, he said, wants more bad he blood. Said, no, 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 I know, but I'm just saying, like, there clearly up. is. That's your visual what? proof that there's and no. another what? thing. Anthony carried the water around here. <laughs> it's true. That's Do not true. take my job away from me. Anthony does That's carry the water. Anthony carries the water. Um, yeah, Juan, anytime you want to pull up, seriously, we would love to have you. We Open invite. It's both said. Open yeah, invite. I, I promise you'll have some now. fun. He Steve just tweeted now. WTF after I made that comment. <laughs> Steve did? <laughs> yeah. Steve doesn't tweet. Oh, he texted us. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm about yeah, to yeah. say. Uh, sorry, not tweet. Steve doesn't tweet. I said, dang, he tweeted Guys, speaking of arguments.